If you've ever wanted to learn how to slice, dice, mince, chiffonade, prifonade, galifonade, those are fake. Or any of the basic techniques of cooking, you're at the right place. Welcome back my breakers and breakettes. Today we're going to do a large carrot dice. We'll do smaller ones down the road, but this is a basic way to dice one carrot. So we're going to need a peeler and a knife, uh, of course. So first off, we're going to go over peeling. So the first way is the obvious one where you're kind of peeling towards yourself from top to bottom. But I want you to try next time to flip it kind of over and put the tip of the carrot on the cutting board and peel away from yourself. That way you can spin the carrot and give it a nice Ross Geller pevet if you need to and it gives you a lot more control and that light grip on the peeler lets it peel with much more ease and then with our pinch grip on the knife and our other hand guiding we're going to clip off both ends some people refer to this as top and tail uh, if you want to get all you know I'm a cook guy but just clip off both ends and with the pinch grip again between our thumb and index finger rest of the fingers with a light grip on the handle our other hand guiding we're going to cut this carrot into three you might want to try four because the next part might be a little more daunting if they're bigger pieces and I do apologize in advance in hindsight I didn't think about doing one chopped on its side because I feel a lot more comfortable especially with big dices doing it from top to bottom like this so in a future video I'm gonna do a much finer dice on a carrot um, where we'll do it horizontally or on its side. I don't know the correct term when it comes to carrots, but let's uh, horizontal on its side. With the tip end, I did kind of do that. So we just want to lay it on its side and run the knife the length of the carrot in half. But again, we'll go over more advanced cuts uh, down the road. And so again, pinch grip between thumb and index, light grip with the rest of your fingers, your other hand guiding it, keeping your thumb behind and curling your fingers on your non-knife hands, you're going to guide that knife through. And so what we're doing is we're trying to chop all these into the similar size so when they cook, they cook evenly and if you're using it in a presentation sense, they look good is the best way, they look the goodest they can be. So. Uh, you want them to look similar so they can cook similar and, again, look similar. So without trying to sound like, you know, I'm too cool for school when I say this, uh, really smaller dices are is just this in larger increments. You're going to cut more vertically and more horizontally to make the cubes smaller. I also need to work on trying to get my hands more in center with the camera so I apologize for that as well but let's go ahead and look closer up so remember pinch grip the other hand is guiding you let that knife blade run off the first knuckle over top of your nail spin it and the thumb holds the anchor in the back and the fingers kind of pull back towards or you can walk them back to uh, the thumb if you feel more comfortable that way and with the knife blade, we'd like to keep it on the board as much as we can. Of course, I showed you, said that as soon as I pulled it off the board, but that's just fine. But on the side, we see here, it doesn't have to be glued to the board, but we want it to be close to the board. So we keep nice, even cuts. And so that has been Large Dice Carrot. Thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you have a good day, afternoon, evening, or wherever you are. And please join me for the next one. Peace out. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, it's more over here. Don't forget, don't forget to subscribe.